In this video we will see an adverse case study about uh, dynamic remarketing. Dynamic remarketing is the tool uh, in adverts which enables uh, uh, advertisers to show adverts in uh, display campaigns uh, based on the products that uh, customers have has already seen on their uh, e-commerce. Uh, the speaker is uh, Rossella Cenini, uh, which works in, in one of the most uh, renowned SEM agency here in Italy, and uh, she is uh, uh, one of the top contributors of the official uh, Italian AdWords uh, community. Uh, a very young but experienced SEM manager. Good morning, everybody. My name is Rossella. Uh, Jeff Barlow has already introduced me. Well, um, I'm currently working at Capello Studio. I write for the AdWords community and I also write for the Fuxi blog. Uh, Fuxi blog at rossella.it. I'm going to talk about um, dynamic remarketing and a specific case done with Google AdWords. The title is every client is unique and he, if he or she goes away, I will follow him or her. And I want to highlight, especially at the beginning, that uh, following someone is different from stalking. So every client is unique because he or she will have his or her own expectations, motivations, needs and interests. So a user uh, who gets in touch for the first time with a website is totally different from a user who of course is visiting the website for the second, third, fourth time. So we have different behaviors and there is uh, some sort of uh, um, degree of other closeness, proximity, um, which can be measured. And clearly we cannot uh, get to know every single user by name, using, not even using Google AdWords, but what we need to do is we need to group our clients in different clusters with unique features and we have to talk specifically to subgroups of users. So that's, uh, of course, that does not apply just to AdWords, but that clearly improves the response rate. Now, our client for this specific case is uh, an e-commerce client selling uh, photographic equipment with about 10,000 different items on sale and these items uh, are about 421 uh, euro each. So, remarketing in general is necessary because 73, nearly 74% of conversions, of all conversions, meaning all transactions, uh, happen on uh, a following occasion, meaning following the first visit. And a significant portion uh, occur after the 11th visit to the website. So that means that people think quite a lot before buying. I'm not talking, and we're not talking about um, small items, small cheap items, but we're talking about uh, sometimes very expensive photographic equipment. So, uh, the, the fact that the conversion requires a growing number, a, a significant number of interactions, means that uh, has led the average order value to increase by 150 euro compared to the overall average value. Now there is a problem. This e-commerce includes 10,000 items, so how can I know if a specific user had seen, for example, an entry-level um, camera or a very expensive camera? Now clearly we, we're talking about different users. and. Well, since last year, what we we can do that we we can now do that, uh, and we can do this with dynamic remarketing using AdWords, because Google is able to combine uh, visitors, users' data 
uh, which information